Hey y'all. So this video is going to be kind of a combo of, you know, basic how to do the epoxy method and um, also kind of a, an ombre, I guess you could call it. Um, I'm going to do like a the middle section um, different than the rest of it. So I'm starting just by painting with um, a chalk paint. It's a Waverly chalk paint. Um, I get it at Walmart. Um, a lot of people have asked me in the past um, if you can actually use acrylic paint to base coat instead of spray paint. And I do. Um, not all the time. If you're going to do something that has like a translucent glitter or something like that on top of it, more like an iridescent or something that's a little bit see-through, you definitely want to use spray paint because you're not going to get an even coat as you can see here. Um, it's going to be streaky and it's just, it's not going to have an even coat. Um, and that will show through on glitter that is not completely opaque. So you can see here it's completely dry now and um, I'm going to use Glitter Designs by Two um, Rose Pink on this one. And my color isn't a perfect match but it's good enough. Um, so I'm probably using about maybe 3-4 uh, milliliters of epoxy. And you just want enough that the entire cup is um, a little bit wet. Um, it doesn't have to be like a super thick coat. You don't want a super thick coat um, or it'll start dripping. So basically you just could really want to like kind of work it all the way down. So um, you'll see I take quite a bit of time. I left this in regular speed so that you guys could see. Um, I take a bit of time and I really work it um, work it down the cup and make sure that if you can you can see how I keep going over the bottom make sure you do that because the bottom of this particular cup has a little bit of an indent and um, if you don't um, kind of go from the top like that uh, it can kind of puddle up in the top um, so just make sure you're wiping that out really good and just really work it down make sure you got a good um, even coat all the way around your cup and make sure everything is coated and then just sprinkle your glitter on. I think I sped this part up. This glitter is so pretty. If you don't have this color, uh, you really need it because it's a super pretty color. Okay, so here I'm just kind of um, knocking off the excess glitter. And then um, I'm showing you that even though my base coat wasn't perfectly even, you cannot tell at all with this glitter because it's um, such full coverage. Really, we just needed a little bit of something in the background. I didn't really want to do it over just the basic stainless steel. Okay, so now that um, I have that completely covered in the pink glitter, I have taken it to the sink and I have sprayed the E6000 just over the middle part. And um, I'm going to sprinkle this um, fine glitter mix that I have made. Um, it's actually a mix of Glitter Designs by Two um, Classic Silver and Sand Dune. Um, one was too dark, one was too light. Um, so I just mixed them together to make the color that I really wanted. So I'm just sprinkling that pretty close here just to get the middle part done. And then as you can, as you can see, I get closer and closer to the camera because I am um, moving my hand further and further up so that I'm um, sprinkling from a higher distance. And I actually switch here in a second to a um, 
tea strainer and you'll be able to see a lot easier that it's um, actually better at dispersing the glitter like in a more fine pattern um, instead of it, so much of it coming out at once with the shaker that I have this in. Um, I need to get more shakers from Steph's Cupboard. Okay, so like I said, um, I'm going to switch to a tea strainer here to show you guys how that's done. I just got this tea strainer from Ikea. It was like a dollar or two. Um, it works so well um, to really get a good blend along those edges. And you just keep going and blending until you're happy with it. Um, once I was actually finished, um, I felt like it was a little too harsh of a line. And I brought the gold out too far, I think. So um, in the end, I did insert a little clip of me putting more pink to kind of rein that gold in a little bit. And I was much happier with it. Okay, so now I'm going to spray it again with the E6000 just really lightly. Um, and I'm going to focus more on the area where it's been blended. Um, that way I can sprinkle um, the chunky glitter. Now the chunky glitter is from another place. It's just one that I had um, that kind of matched the, the gold that I wanted. So I've sprayed it on there. And then um, what I find a lot easier to do when you're working with Chunky, um, it's easier if it's actually on a turner <laughs> because you can put it in your hand. But what I've done is just I dump out a pile of it and then I take pinches of it. That way um, you don't get any spots where it like comes out of your shaker really fast and you just have a blob of... Um, chunky glitter when you just really wanted it kind of just sprinkled around. So that's what I do. I just um, pile it up on the paper there and then I just take a pinch and just kind of, you know, move my cup um, and sprinkle from the same spot. And then sometimes I kind of flick my fingers at it um, just to give a more random look. Um, you don't really want it to be like too clumpy or anything unless that's the look you're going for where you want the center to be super clumpy and then um, kind of work your way out to sparser um, chunks over the pink. But um, for this one in particular, I just wanted kind of just a little hint of chunkiness. You can kind of see there what I was talking about um, a little bit earlier, how the gold comes down really far, like into the pink, and it's kind of a little too striped <laughs> right now. But um, like I said, I I put a clip in the end uh, where I kind of go back and fix that a little bit.
I'm just trying to lightly press down some of the chunk um, so that it lays a little bit flatter on the um, on the cup so that I don't have to put so much epoxy over it later or sand through it. Um, you don't have to do that, but I just find it easier. Okay, so here's the part of the video that I was um, saying that um, I go back and fix the the blend a little bit. So I'm just going to put some of the um, the rose pink into the tea strainer and just kind of go over that blend a little bit and try to perfect it. Um, I do go off screen here because I wasn't originally intending on this being in the, in the video, but I thought I'd go ahead and add, add it in. Um, so after this, I'm just going to set it to the side and let it cure up for probably four to six hours. Um, and then I can um, go and put my first layer of epoxy over the glitter. Okay, that's pretty much it for the epoxy method and how I like to do an ombre. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them below. Um, other than that, thanks for watching.